Hey guys, how's it going? It is Thursday, March 4th. It is 4.35 p.m. The markets are closed and I want to talk about what I did today and how I um, not too happy with one trade I took. Um, okay, so let's see. The market, uh, Powell spoke today and whenever Whenever there's going to be somebody talking, you know, like midday or whatever, the market acts weird and it's best to just leave it alone, right? Until, you know, the interview is over and the market decides whether what was said was good or not and whether it's time to go up or down. Fine. So I didn't trade in the morning. And uh, after Powell spoke, he basically, you know, like what was, what was said was that was, you know, what was said made the market go down, right? Um, now, I took an, a square trade uh, to the downside, but I didn't trade it well. I went in here and, um, you know, like breakdown, retest, continuation with volume, but I scared myself out of it. I scared myself out of this trade. I was thinking that maybe this was already overextended. It was near the lows of the day, which is safe. You know, I, I got out here. I got out like 10 minutes later. Um, and surely enough, this thing, it had a hard time breaking the low of the day. But when it did, it broke it. Right? And I was not here to collect this. Still, you could argue that I was just being safe, which is good. But um, I will tell you that my mindset was not fully there. I was not managing this trade properly. I was letting this manage my emotions, right? So in that case, I guess it's good that I just got out. You know, when you're not in control, the best thing to do is to get out. And then the other trade I took was Tesla. I never trade Tesla, but today I did. Why? Because... Okay, let me go... Um, there's a divergence in the daily, okay? When you look at Tesla, you see that it has been beaten up, right? And much like the, mar much like the market. But if you look at this low and this low, and then you put on an oscillator such as, let's say, the... Come on. Let's say the CCI. Let's see if that one works. No, let's do another one. Um, no, it doesn't really work with this one. I don't want to, I don't want to show my indicators. Uh, those are for, um, students only, but basically if you put on an oscillator, you see that there's a positive divergence, meaning that we might be coming up from here, right? Now, if you look at any graph, you can be like, okay, sure, maybe, but this is Tesla. And Tesla, yes, it has been gone, going down or sliding really for a while. But, what, I mean, how many people want to buy Tesla? Everybody. Everybody wants to buy Tesla. And um, I do think that there's a good chance we are going to pop up. Um, I have next week's calls, uh, a couple of them. Um, they are out of the money. They are out of the money, so if they, if tomorrow we don't get that pop up, I'm starting to gonna suffer from, um, I'm, I'm going to start to suffer from time decay, right? So yeah, I do want to see it work sooner rather than later. If not, I'll just take my loss and move on. And now let's talk about the spy. If I find it, here we go. Spy. What do we have here? What I have been saying for days: downtrend, decreasing lows decreasing highs right that's a downtrend and um yeah i mean i i've been saying be careful with longs or oh, like shorts have worked out a lot better in this market now look at this big big um rejection like big buying volume and volume right and we're also at a main support. Are we going to bounce back up straight up from here? No, probably not, right? 
but um, it does make me feel. Oh, by the way, yeah, the most volume it has had in a very long time. Wow, since since like June. Jesus, wow. Okay, that, that's because of the um, of the of Powell talking, of course. But anyway, yes. So I do think that we're going to see some upside now um maybe maybe to this level makes sense to me but again this is anyone's guess you know like there's no, no nobody knows what's going to happen right and if, if somebody says i know what's going to happen run the other way because they don't okay all right um so yeah uh, just to recap I am holding Tesla calls for the first time ever. <laughs> I really haven't traded Tesla. It is my nemesis. I don't, I don't like to trade it, but this one was good. This one looked good. And I mean, I, I want to I wanna, I wanna give it a go. I want to take a stab at it and see what happens. All right. Other than that, um, right, Square, I didn't tell you. Square, I pretty much broke even. I got a small gain. Um, sorry, one second, let me check. It was like 3% or something like that. 2.89%. Uh, That's pretty much break even. I'm not even going to post that because, at, at least not yet, I will do it when, um, when I close my um, Tesla trade. But yeah, Square was... Uh, I look at it and yes, I was being safe because I saw signs of you know, some strength to the upside, or at least, you know, like selling pressure kind of diminishing. Um, but man, I just, mm, my mindset was not there at all. So yeah, it's a good thing I closed it. All right then, um, just for kicks, let's take a look at Tesla because it is, okay. So what, what did I get in Tesla? My uh, mind you, this pattern is very different from um, the pattern that I use for Tesla is very different from what I usually use. I got in at 120. I can tell you now it was not my best entry. Sorry, I got in at 119. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I got in here. Boom. Um, I thought that we were done dropping, we retested this level, we dropped a little bit more, and then we just went sideways for the rest, for the rest of the day. It was not my best entry, I will tell you that, um, but it wasn't bad per se either, right? Um, this is a different pattern, it's not my, my usual breakout, retest, continuation. Um, so yeah, we shall see what happens. All right. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Uh, I will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Happy Thursday. Be safe. And, you know, yeah, let's see what happens tomorrow. All right. Cheers. Bye.